48, Gather Us In, number 848. We will be using verses 1 and 3. vanished away see in this space our fears and our dreamings brought here to you in the light of this day gather us in the lost and forsaken gather us in the blind and the lame call to us now and we shall awaken we shall at the sound of our name. Here we will take the wine and the water. Here we will take the bread of new birth. Here you shall call your sons and your daughters. Call those anew to be salt for the earth. Give us to drink the wine of compassion. Give us to eat the bread that is you. Nourish us well and teach us to fashion lives that are holy and hearts that are true. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Jesus assures us of his presence when he feeds us with the bread of life. As we grow in faith, we are invited to taste and see God's goodness in our lives. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the bread of life Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the manna from heaven. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the food for the world. Lord, have mercy, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, have mercy on us. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks. For your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only 
begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom, taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah went a day's journey into the desert until he came to a broom tree and sat beneath it. He prayed for death, saying, This is enough, O Lord. Take my life, for I am no better than my father's. He lay down and fell asleep under the broom tree. But then an angel touched him and ordered him to get up and eat. Elijah looked, and there at his head was a hearth cake and a jug of water. After he ate and drank, he lay down again. But the angel of the Lord came back a second time, touched him, and ordered, Get up and eat, else the journey will be too long for you. He got up, ate, and drank, then, strengthened by that food, he walked 40 days and 40 nights to the mountain of God, Horeb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with which you were sealed for the day of redemption. All bitterness, fury, anger, shouting, and reviling must be removed from you, along with all malice. And be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. So be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over to us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory. 
the Jews murmured about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they said, Is this not Jesus, the son of, the son of Joseph? Do we not know his father and mother? Then how can he say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered and said to them, Stop murmuring among yourselves. No one come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Anyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen. Amen. I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Eucharist means thanksgiving. Every Sunday or every day when we gather together in church, we gather to give thanks to God for everything he has given us. Today we have a very special reason to give thanks to God. We give thanks to God for the gift of life. I have heard from many of you before Mass. Also, you are so happy for the wonderful rain last night. So we give to the thanks to God for that gift. But also, we give thanks to God for the gift of love, Eucharist, thanksgiving. Among us are Jim and Kathy, with their children and grand grandchildren, giving thanks to God because 50 years ago, they joined their lives out of love. And now, they come to say thanks to God because along these 50 years, they were nourished with the bread of life. And every day they found new strength to keep going and to show the way to eternal life to their children and grandchildren because they draw, they receive this strength from the bread of life from Jesus. So thanks be to God for that. And also thanks be to God for all of you couples that you are showing us that love is still real among us. Thank you because you are making God's presence among us as you love each other. Thank you so much for that. So, Eucharist is May I say, a wedding feast where 
Christ is the bridegroom, and the church, all of us, are the bride. It's an encounter with the Lord. It's an encounter with others. The Catechism of our Catholic Church emphatically says, the Eucharist is the sign of communion in the divine life and the unity of the people of God. So then, the celebration of Mass is the celebration of unity, of friendship, of brotherhood, of openness to others, after the example of Jesus. When people were murmuring against Jesus, he took advantage and introduced himself and said, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. Jesus is all that we need for our life, especially, especially in times when we are like the prophet Elijah, as we heard in the first reading, facing frustration, anger, and even depression. Jesus is the living bread that came down from heaven. Becomes for us like the bread and the water that Elijah ate and drank, from which he got strength to walk for 40 days and nights until he reached the mountain of the Lord. The 40 days and nights are a symbol of an entire history. It means that being fed with the bread that comes from heaven, we will be able to walk during our whole life until we reach the presence of God in heaven. By personal experience, we know that without our daily meals, we will be starving. And soon, we will die of hunger. In the same way, without the spiritual nourishment, without the bread of life, our soul will starve. But that is not what God wants for us. We are people to live our life full of grace, with its strength ever new. We are God's people called to enjoy good spiritual and material nourishment. Now that we know of this great truth about Jesus as the bread of life, let us be like the angel sent by the Lord to Elijah for others. I will invite you to encourage others with these words of kindness and compassion. Please go and say to the disheartened, say to the disappointed one, get up and eat, else the journey will be long for you. Will be wonderful as we are almost at the beginning of a new um, year for studies. We may say to the children, get up. The journey of your life is just at the beginning. Or maybe we can say to the youth, get up from temptations and any kind of vices. 
or we may say to the couples, get up. The journey of your love is still long. Do not give up now. Get up from your anger. Get up from your low mood. Get up from your resentment. Get up from your frust frustration. May I say this? Get up and go to the sacrament of reconciliation, if needed. And then come to eat the bread of life. Get up. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with which you were sealed for the day of redemption, said St. Paul in the second reading. So I will end with these words. Again, thank you. Kathy, thank you, Jim, for your witness of God's love. And I will invite everybody to get up and come every day, if, if, if possible, to the source of strength and life. Get up and come always to Jesus in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Before our creed, I invite, I will invite Tom and Anne, Dean and John, Laura and Paul, please come join me in to give a special blessing to your parents. Please join me here. And of course we will invite Jim and Kathy. Please go up those steps and we will turn toward them. You have here your children and your uh, children-in-law, but also you have your grandchildren. So let's invite them to please come join me here. When your children came to life, you were for them a blessing. You are a blessing for them. But it is wonderful also that today they will pray for both of you. They will give you a blessing on behalf of the Lord. So I will ask you please extend your right hand for your parents, grandparents, and together, let us ask the Lord to renew their love. And may Jesus, the bread of life, be always the source of new love for each one of you. Lord God and Creator, we bless and, and praise your name. In the beginning, you made man and woman so that they might enter a communion of life and love you likewise blessed the union of Jim and Kathy so that they might, might enter in the union of Christ with his church. Look with kindness on them today. Amid the joys and the struggles of their life, you have preserved the union between them. Renew their marriage covenant Increase your love in them and strengthen their bond of peace so that surrounded by their children and grandchildren, they may, they may always rejoice in the gift of your blessings. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May God, your mighty Father, give you joy. 
May the only Son of God have mercy on you and help you in good times and in bad. And may the Holy Spirit always fill your hearts with love. In what God have joined, no man may separate. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Congratulations, and thank you again. Thank you so much to each one of you. Thank you. I will look forward to celebrate the 50th anniversary of your children too. <laughs> Please stand and let us renew our faith. Together, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, come substantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, then rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Jesus promises us today that he is the living bread come down from heaven. Let us pray for all who need to be nourished by this living bread. Our response is, bread of life, hear our prayer. For our church, as we continue to be bread for the world, sharing the gospel of life with all who need to hear the good news, we pray, bread of life, hear our prayer. For those who work the soil and grow our food, for blessings on their labor and for good weather and a plentiful harvest, we pray. For success and good fellowship at our Holy Family Parish Festival, we pray. For young men and women, that they may courageously consider a vocation to serve in the ordained or consecrated life, we pray. Bread of life. For those in our community who are struggling with hardships and life's misfortunes, for those who seek the spiritual food that will sustain them, we pray. For those who are traveling, for all whose work takes them away from home, we pray. Bread of life, hear our prayer. For all who have died this week, Andrew Dietrich, Jr., and Audrey Riley, and especially for those remembered at this Mass, 50th wedding anniversary of Jim and Kathy Simon, Mary Wachowski, 
and Howard Miller, we pray. Bread of life, hear our prayer. And for all our personal petitions, we pray. Bread of life, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you trusting that you know our, me our needs before, that, we, that you know our needs better than we do. Hear and answer these prayers according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Our hymn for the preparation of the gifts is number 918, In the Breaking of the Bread, number 918. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to, the, to be offered, and by your power, you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is 
truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, 
who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Jerome, our Archbishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant here peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us Behold the bread of life. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not, I'm not worthy, worthy that you should that enter you under my roof, but, but only, only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Please join me to pray for the mission of the Archdiocese of Milwaukee. Almighty and ever-living God, we praise you and we bless you, for you are great indeed. Grant, we pray, as on the, that first Pentecost, that tongues of fire may descend upon us and that the driving wind of your Holy Spirit may blow boldly into our hearts. Loving God, we ask you, make us effective and holy witnesses of the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ. Increase our faith through the sacramental life of the Church. Grant us courage to follow you as faithful disciples Embolden us, O oh God, so that we may go and proclaim your gospel and renew the face of the earth. In this Archdiocese of Milwaukee, we humbly pray for a strength and fortitude to follow your great commission to go and make disciples of all people, living our faith through word and deed, through the intercession of St. John the Evangelist, patron of the Archdiocese, and Mary, mother of the Church, we ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The announcement for this weekend. Because the Feast of the Assumption, August 15, falls on Saturday, this year, the obligation is lifted. The feast will be celebrated at the 8th morning mass at St. Mary Church, Saturday, August the 15th. So please, um, if you have this devotion to Our Lady, come to St. Mary's Church at 8 a.m. Come and join us at Holy Family Parish Festival tomorrow. August 9th at the Holy Family Church Hall and Courtyard. At, uh, all begin with the 1015 Mass, and then we will follow at 11 or 1115 outside and at the hall until 2.30 p.m. Um, 
Yes, to 3 p.m. Please join us. And now we have also a special blessing for those with birthday this month. Do we have parishioners, brothers, sisters with birthday this month? Please stand. Oh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. Wonderful. Oh, we have another one up there by the um, TV. I invite the rest of, uh, of you, my dear brothers and sisters, to extend your right hand toward one of our parishioners. And let, let us give thanks to God for the gift of life. God of all creation, we offer you grateful praise for the gift of life. Hear the prayers of your servants who recall today the day of their birth and rejoice in your gift of life and love, friends and family. Bless them with your presence and surround them with your love that they may enjoy many happy years, all of them listen to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Brothers and sisters, happy birthday. God bless you. And thank you, thank you for coming to celebrate also the gift of life. Thank you. Let us pray. May the communion of your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now that the hour of our death. Amen. Thank you so much for your presence, for your participation. Thank you to the entire family of um, Jim and Kathy Simon. Thank you to your guests, wherever they come from. And also, special thanks to Michelle. Um, I think officially, this is your first time playing uh, the music for us and leading us in worshiping the Lord. Thank you so much. Paul Thielen was looking for uh, somebody, a musician that can help us. And finally, we have Michelle among us. Thank you so much for leading us in our worship. God bless you. Thank you, Michelle. Brothers and sisters, nourished with the bread of life, go forth and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our closing song is number 607. Sing a new song, number 607. Sing a new song unto the Lord, let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing alleluia. Shout with gladness, dance for joy, O come before the Lord. And play for God our glad tambourines, and let your trumpet sound. Sing a new song unto the Lord, let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing alleluia. Rise, O children, from your sleep, your Savior now has come. He has turned your sorrow to joy and filled your soul with song. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the 
Lord, singing high. 